Hey, what's going on, guys? The boy Sam right here, and I'm giving you Zekra 5 whatever I ran yesterday at my locals, Angel Feathers. It's the first time I played Angel Feathers uh, at all, and in general, the first time I played Vanguard in over a month. So, uh, I didn't do too bad, but then again, I felt like I could have done better. Uh, so overall, I went 2 2 with the deck. Uh, round 1, I lost because I was at 3 damage, and he double crit. Nothing I could do about it, it's just luck. And I lost round four against the guy who got first place, my friend. Uh, you know, he had an amazing hand. He wrote Alfred, called two Palamedes, and two turns later I was dead because Palamedes swings for big numbers all the time. And just, I did not have the best of luck. So, let's do it. Uh, Thunder Vanguard's Turnial, the new one. Uh, I was told to play this instead of Thermometer Angel by, by a lot of people. So uh, I tried it, but realistically, I, I'm not sure if it is better or not than Thermometer Angel. It's just, I have to see. Alright, four heals, because they go back to your deck, and you can get them from your damage zone to your hand to play them to go back to your deck. So, more or less, you'll have uh, four, four heal triggers in your deck most of the time. And uh, it's really good because Angel Feathers, the deck really shines when it's late game. Where you have a very low, lo low deck, and you know four heals in that deck is makes it really good. But uh, all my games today, I either lost early or I won early, so heal triggers did not pop up that much. I'm not sure why, but uh, and then four four crits, four more crits. It's kind of standard lineup, four draws again standard lineup. So. 17 grade th zeros, obviously. Grade ones, we have the four ponies, 9k booster. Very good, very good. Uh, the 8k booster, also very good. Boosters are important in this game. And then I only play three perfect guards because you can get it from the damage zone, which is so you don't really need to play four. And I could have played four, I could have borrowed one from my friend, but. I felt that in, in Angel Feathers, you just need to play three. <laughs> no. Four no seals, grade, grade one. When you guard it, you swap it. You just damage swap. It's a very good card. It, uh, it's 5k shield. It, but if you use it, like if your Vanguard has Sham Shield or Calamity Flame, uh, they gain 2,000. So it's kind of like a 7k shield. For instance, uh, if your Sham Shield has 10, obviously, and your opponent attacks for 18. No, not no, not eighteen. Let's say attack for sixteen, like six k booster behind ten k, ten k, whatever. Sixteen. Well, five k is not enough, but because you damage swapped, sham shell or calamity flame gains two thousand. So she's actually at seventeen. So which, which gets over that sixteen, which it, it works like that. It works like that, and that's really good. So grade ones, uh, fifteen grade ones. Yeah. Um. I might take out one or two Bethaniels for some grade twos in the future because uh, overall I noticed that I did not get uh, many grade twos, which you know le leads to less attacking, which leads to my opponent have more cards in their hand. So three grade grade two notes. I might take this down to one because this card's not that great because it's only if you play in a rear guard, but you have better rear guards to attack with because since it's only AK. Uh, so I'm not sure about this card, but uh, I played three because when I initially got the deck, it came with three, so I just didn't mess with it. And then four armoros. This card is very good. It generates the raw advantage this deck needs because uh, it's just plus one all the time, and you don't counter blast at all in this deck except for that one fraternal. But that's like that. That is it, honestly. And. You know, Armor Rose is it's such a good card. It's it's really good. I, I love it. I would I would not play three. I have to, I would have to play four because it's amazing. And then uh four. Uh the Great Two Pony. This card's really good. Um this and Armor Rose, those eight are my main attackers. And uh they just I don't know why, but I feel I feel like the whole day yesterday that they did not show up that much. So, yeah. But this goes to 11k, boosted by 
Red One Pony, which goes with 9K, hits 20K, good numbers. So, uh, that's the end of the grade twos. Um, how many grade twos were there? That would be 11. So, I might draw this down and add some, maybe some 10K V sticks or Penamuse, because the deck that got top four in Atlanta played pen two Penamuse, I'm not sure. Grade three, probably the most important. Uh, three, Sham Shills. I feel that this card is probably one of the best Ender Feathers out there. Uh, I, I had one from earlier, and I, I borrowed two from my two friends, and then later on I traded for them. And I'm getting one SP in the mail, so I'm lucky for that. But Sham Shill is what, what f makes the deck flow. Um, I'm not going to read the effect because it's pretty obvious you should know. Uh, she is amazing. She, and she looks so, so sexy, like, her head is in the shape of a heart, if you, yeah, heart-shaped head. And, uh, I, overall, I did, I did draw this enough, honestly, I don't think I need to play four, I, I drew this quite a bit, I only ran, I only rode one Calamity Flame, and the next turn I overrode with Sham Show. Alright, and then, uh, I played two Carrials. Just cause, well, A, I made last minute changes, cause, again, I got there five minutes before the tournament, tor tournament started. I quickly ran to my two friends to get borrow those in some trades. So, I didn't legitimately count out the, the proportions of the ratios of the grades. And I felt that this card, it was good today. Uh, sometimes when you override it with, like, Sham uh her plus one is sometimes very good. And yeah, so uh but in the future I'm gonna take these out. That's why I have three in my binder. So yeah, and then last grade three was the three Phoenix Calamity Flames. Cause twelve K twelve K rare cards are very good, you know. And yeah. So that was what eight? Yeah, eight grade threes. Honestly, I feel that eight is too much maybe play 7 for Angel Feathers, because overall, Angel Feathers, they need their Grade 2's attackers, they need their Armoros and their Pony, the other, the other Pony. So, yeah, that was my deck, uh, tell me what you guys think of Angel Feathers in general, my deck, and before you say anything in the comments or what or not, I realize that this is a 51 card deck. Why? I don't know. Probably because I made some last minute changes. Like, legit, like, last minute before the tournament started. And, uh, I guess I miscounted or something, but... Uh, 51 cards. Uh, I know I'm gonna take out, like, Kyrgios and some Beth Neals maybe, and a uh, No Seal. Grade 2 No Seal. And I'm definitely gonna make some changes, but I don't know when I'm gonna play Vanguard. Because, uh, I can only go... It goes once a week, and I have to choose between Vanguard or Yu-Gi-Oh. And most of the time I choose Yu-Gi-Oh because I play wind-ups, and wind-ups are good. But, uh, I do like going to Vanguard because I know if I really try and put my mind to it, I feel like I can easily top, or win, like, top three, whatever, top four. And I can, I easily can make profit off Vanguard more than I can make off Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I can easily trade up for Vanguard, but I can't trade up for Yu-Gi-Oh. And because... Yeah, Vanguard Arts is like so good compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's it, guys. Uh, sorry this video was nine minutes. I just gotta explain some stuff. And yeah, so the Blade Samurai. Check out my binder video. It'll be up previous to this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, YouTube.